Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Well, we got the Padre here, Father Robert Balliser, SJ. He is going to show us. You get you game a lot. I I actually. Probably Are you allowed much. to game in the house? No, no. <laughs> Where do you do that? He's Here? not allowed to. But... <laughs> we gave him a bunch of rocket stuff. We've had rockets on before. Mm -hmm. uh, the rocket mouse, the rocket keyboard. They've got a new mouse. A new pad mm -hmm. and the new glow. It's a glow. Yeah, <laughs> these are all gaming peripherals, and uh, I got to play with them over the course of a couple weeks. So, you're a gamer. You bought a super high performance gaming rig, purchased upgrades to make it even faster, paired it with a large, sexy, fast response monitor, and shelled out enough cash to make it rain, geek style. That's a lot of money for gaming performance, so then why are you using anything but a high performance input system? That's the question we tried to answer with the Cone Pure, the Cone Pure Optical, and the Ryos Glow. Now these are gaming peripherals and we know that some people get squeamish around video violence, so we've replaced any objectionable scenes with cute, cuddly Shutterstock animals. The Cone Pure and Cone Pure Optical are mid-range, high-performance gaming mice from Rocket, a company that specializes in gaming peripherals. The Cone Pure features an 8200 DPI sensor that can be adjusted up and down in sensitivity in 200 DPI increments while the Cone Pure Optical sports a 4000 DPI sensor that can be adjusted in 400 DPI increments, both of which can be changed on the fly with a rocker switch behind the Titan wheel scrolling control. Both the Cone Pure and Cone Pure Optical are contoured for the average hand and covered in a soft touch material that should reduce gamer sweat. Rocket adds a nice touch by braiding their cable so as to reduce the rat's nest phenomenon common with USB peripherals. Both mice use Omron Mechanical Switch Tech for positive clicky feedback and have seven programmable buttons and the wheel for a total of nine inputs. Half a megabyte of onboard memory allows them to store up to five primary button mapping profiles of those nine input points, plus an additional nine with the Easy Shift button duplicator. At 32-bit Turbo Core, V2 processor drives both the Cone Pure and the Cone Pure Optical, with that power also letting Rocket add a tracking and distance control unit to the Pure which gives the mouse better tracking on difficult surfaces and allows players to lift without moving the cursor. A comprehensive list of customizable features is found in the Rocket Utility, which also gives you control of the LEDs, which can be set to any of 16.8 million colors. The Ryos MK Glow is the middle option of Rocket's new line of gaming keyboards. The Glow uses Cherry MX mechanical switches, which give it a few advantages over inexpensive membrane keyboards such as greater durability and the ability to register a keystroke without having to press the key all the way down. Each key is illuminated by a LED under the cap and the whole kit is covered in anti-smudge material. Five macro buttons line the left of the glow and a non-detachable wrist rest adds an additional three thumb keys. All keys are programmable with a 32-bit ARM Cortex processor and 2 megabytes of flash memory letting you assign secondary functions and store over 500 macros. Used together, the Ryos and the Cone Pure series of mice can combine their features through Rocket's talk function. And it's in the combination of those features that I found the Rocket system to be one heck of a boost for gaming. Both the Cone Pure and the Cone Pure Optical are accurate, extremely accurate, especially when sitting on one of Rocket's Hero mouse pads. The 2D wheel is deliberately rough, with regular indents to allow users to easily scroll through weapons by feel, meaning that there are fewer instances where you flip past the weapon you want. The Adjust DPI rocker switch was incredibly useful when switching between normal movement and the fine aiming of a sniper rifle. Easy to the point of becoming second nature, importantly both the Cone Pure and the Cone Pure Optical felt good in my hands, even after hours of gaming. However, for me the standout of our rocket pack has to be the Ryos. Key presses were quick, the mechanical action was smooth, and I ended up using the programming feature far more than I thought I would. And then there were the macros. Macros for every game, every style, every player, every possible way to play. In the end, Rocket makes some fantastic input devices. From their Cone series of mice to their Ryos keyboards, even down to their Hero mousepad. They definitely get those who expect a little more from their implements of video game mayhem. The Rocket Cone Pure, Cone Pure Optical and Ryos MK Glow are definitely solid choices for the gamer. You can find them online now for less than $80 for the mice and $140 for the keyboard. 
Thank you, Robert. So uh, they look cool, and it sounds like they play pretty well, but there's a lot of, this is a co very competitive market. Yeah, it's a crazy competitive market. And to be honest, I, I haven't always been that impressed with gaming peripherals because they tended to be pricey. They, pricey. And some of them look good, but they weren't really durable. They'd break after a while. These are reasonably priced. I mean, they're more expensive than what you might pay for an off-the-shelf thing from Best Buy. But we're talking, you know, 65 to 80 bucks for the mice, talking about $140 for the keyboard. So expensive, but not too expensive. 